All right, this is the demonstration of a BVM apneic patient. First thing I'm gonna do is gonna take my BSI precautions. I'm gonna go ahead and check my scene safety. Uh, once I do that, I'm gonna approach the patient and check to see if the patient's responsive. Sir, sir, can you hear me? Go ahead and apply a trap squeeze. Patient is unresponsive. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and check to see if the patient's breathing. The patient is unresponsive and apneic. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check for a carotid pulse, at least five, uh, no longer than 10 seconds, and I'm also gonna call for additional resources. Okay. You palpate a weak carotid pulse at a rate of 60. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and check my patient's airway. I'm gonna use the head tilt chin lift or the jaw thrust maneuver, whatever situation uh, calls for it. And do I see anything or hear anything? The mouth is full of secretions and vomitus. Okay, we go ahead and hook up my suction using a hard tip suction catheter. I'm gonna measure uh, the suction catheter before I insert it, measuring from the earlobe to the corner of the mouth. I'm going to go ahead and insert it, not suctioning. Once it's in, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start suctioning, no more than 15 seconds or until the airway is clear. The mouth and oropharynx are clear. All right, I'm then going to establish my airway with the OPA. I'm gonna measure my OPA as well, measuring from the earlobe to the corner of the mouth. No gag reflex is present and the patient accepts the airway adjunct. Okay. I'm then going to check to see if I have established airway after all these measures. If I see if the ventilations will go in now. I'm going to open the airway again. And ventilation is being performed properly without difficulty. All right, I'm then going to recheck to make sure I still have a carotid pulse. And I'm going to hook up my patient's high flow too. So I'm going to set my regulator to 10 to 15 PS, or, uh, liters per minute, and I'm going to continue ventilating the patient. Give me one breath every five to six seconds, or about 10 to 12 breaths per minute. And how would you know if you're delivering appropriate volumes with each ventilation? I'm going to look for adequate chest rise and fall. I'm also looking for the patient's color to return or spontaneous breathing.